everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into episodes 13 and 14 of Freerun Beyond Journey's End. So, so no Freerun continues as we finish the first half of the season, which, like I said, at this point, I'm pretty confident it's the first half of season one, not the first half of the entire series. Just based on where we are in the story at this point, it feels pretty likely that this is not going to be a 28-episode series. Now, this is actually the first video I'm recording since returning. You guys will have seen a fair few videos drop, um, but yeah, this is just, it was a two-episode set. I figured, you know, this is be what I jump into first. I'm recording multiple videos tonight, uh, June 27th. My return date being July 1st, um, and the goal is to go crazy in the second half of the year. And, you know, I can't, I, I can't know for sure how, 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 how successful I will be, but July is going to go crazy with the consistency for sure. I have no real doubts in my mind about that. But anyways, um, I do want to do, I'm sure, like I said, uh, I'll probably do this, uh, this the quick kind of, hey, you know, what's going on for all the videos, like the first video of all the different shows that um, I'll be uh, posting. Uh, this is actually probably, weirdly for you guys, this will probably be the last time you see me do this if you're watching multiple series, but if you're currently only watching my free run reactions, the, 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 the gist of it is... <clears throat> um, Weird stuff, but the point is I decided to uh, delay my comeback by about a week because I wanted to kind of get a running start and get fully in the groove of recording and editing and uploading videos for you guys before the videos actually uh, started dropping. So I figured, you know what, July 1st, it's a Monday, beginning of the week, beginning of the month, beginning of the second half of the year. I'm just going to wait till July 1st, and then we're just going to go hard. We're going to go daily, not and nothing nothing less than daily. Um, so yeah, we should be done with Freerun in about... Honestly, I don't even know when this is going to go up exactly, <clears throat> because Hell of a Boss will have been the return video, and then Rotational, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Gintama, Persona, the 7th. The 8th, probably. Probably July 8th. <clears throat> so if we think about once a week, give or take. Um, what? We have four more sets after this. So I would say we should be done with Free Ren. It's going to get into August, but it should be first half of August. We should be done with Free Ren. I'm not going to put like a specific date on that, but I would say... Uh, no later than the middle of August, we'll be done with free runs. So uh, don't worry, guys. We'll uh, be getting through the rest of this fairly quickly, and I'm pretty confident of that fact. Um, I just don't know the exact dates because there might be a few random videos mixed in besides the the two weeklies and the five rotationals. But um, so I don't want to put a, a specific date, but you know, give or take about a week. I know, you know, I'm I'm pretty confident in that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be all good. Um, new water canister. It's, it's a big boy, too, so mm, we're here for that. We always need to be hydrating. And, yeah, uh, last time the last time on Free Rin, we took care of Aura and her peeps, and then we kind of got back on the road. We continued heading north. Um... You know, we made some Hamburg steaks because, you know, there's like warrior lore there that they dropped there and that, that tied to, uh, you know, that tied to Stark's uh, backstory with Aizen as well as his backstory with his brother and like cool stuff like that. It was fun. Um, I'm ready for what comes next. I don't really have a lot to say. It's only two episodes, so it'll be interesting to see what we get up to. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm excited to just start recording and reacting to stuff. So, like I said, I, I basically just use the intro to just generally say, hey, we're on the grind, we're coming, videos are going to be flying out. Uh, like I said, this should, be this should be going up on July 8th, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's jump in to episode 13, 
of Freerin in three, two, one, and play. Suka. I have no idea who you are. Mm. I kind of like his design, though. I think it's because the green eyes, like, I feel like contrast the rest of his design in an interesting way. Huh. Oh, and I did want to mention, I'm not expecting a new OP this set, but it's possible. Obviously not in 13, but it could be in 14, but I'm expecting the new OP in 15. Because you would think 14 and 14. So we will be keeping, you know, we'll, we'll watch this both times, because, like I said, Amex, most likely we get a new OP in episode 15. Any V, for that matter. I like this part of the song. It is funny though, because I do really like this OP. But the EV is probably one of my favorite EVs of all time. Like I said, it's unfortunate that I'm not um, able... that I haven't really been able to keep it in the video because uh, it's so good. Adversion to one's own kind. Alright, Altwoods. I wonder if that's referring to Freerin, if that's referring to this guy. I'm assuming this story has a sad ending. Calling them a gorilla is a while, it's just giving me, um, Gintama vibes. It looks the part. I'm sure you would have had a much different life. Damn. Mm -hmm. なんで私にそんな話をするの俺の村は収穫祭が近くてな料理に使う野草を森で取ってくるように兄貴に頼まれたそしたらそこな死ぬ間にはまっちゃったわあ。オッケー、ダッツプリティファニー。落ち前だ
とりあえず止血しましょうあれなんか鼻血出てきた毒の種類の分析って僧侶の魔法だから得意じゃないんだよね Not your area of expertise. 手持ちの毒消しじゃ無理かも教会で見てもらった方がいいねフェルン飛行魔法あとどのくらい使える魔力の消費が大きいので30分が限度ですね30分じゃ町までは行けないねさっきの村まで戻ろうシュタルクは私が運ぶね大げさだな Yeah, something tells me it's about to be that big of a deal in a few seconds. Yeah, that might not be a good idea. Aizen, Ryu, I mean, Aizen was an absolute monster. monster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That, I buy that for sure. That makes a lot of sense. Because how often are you going to find your. Like, that's the thing with this story is even trying to make the, out the fact that you don't get into these crazy, dangerous adventures. What the fuck? Ew? Wow. I swear, it's gonna be. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be that guy. Wow. <laughs> ありがとう。俺のこと助けてくれたのは。なんだ。ヘビにでも噛まれたか。ナッツ。気をつけろ。センアフォーマトリー。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲ
elves, but just people like her. Interesting. Wow. Oh my god, corrupt priest. Oh my god, he has to join our shit. Oh god, yes. Oh, he has to be the new hider. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> he just wants to be Oh, he's taking him to the cleaners. Don't wake her up. She looks way too adorable. Oh, yeah, they took his ass to the cleaners. Damn! He literally took his ass to the cleaners. Wow, he really is a corrupt priest. What the fuck? Why are you not wearing clothes either? So you also got taken to the cleaners, I guess. Yeah, the village chief. The devil's luck, huh? Hmm. Oh, it's coincidence that you told Freerin that story. Yeah, but that's the perfect type of person to join our squad. フリーレ。僕たちと一緒に魔王を倒そう。今更だよ。もう500年以上魔族との実戦はやってます。That doesn't mean you can't Exactly. The time that you spent in the past has nothing. Yep. Yep. It has nothing to do with the present. Your decisions in the past don't don't determine your decisions in the present or the future. She distinctly knows. Yeah, yeah, she, you're like, he reminds you way too much of you, and the, 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 you from the past, the you that you want to, the you that you want to be better than, that you want to improve from. Mm. Oh, okay. ただで返してくださりました。わあ。よかったね。いい人たちで。斧は処分に困ってました。悲しい。わあ。下レク様、来てください。Look how やったのは俺じゃなくて村長だって。キャンブルする人は最低です。ごめんよ。All <笑> Yeah, it's what he needs. Mm -hmm. Just make solid sense in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wants to get to know the Hymeru. It's also a way for Freerin to, weirdly enough, get closer to Himmel. These adventurers are going to be able to stay in the world of the world. Oh, 
I really hope they win him over. I'm, I'm all about getting... Uh, I think four is just a good number for a squad. Not too big, not too small. We could even out the... Uh, get someone a little... You know, he'd be the second oldest member. We could just kind of get some more... Like, I like the different personalities. Different skill sets. Even out the gender, like a lot of cool stuff there. Oh, they'll win you over. ザインの好きなものですか苦戦しているからね。参考にしたくて。そうですね。酒にタバコにギャンブル。そうグッド。それはもう知ってる。あいつ本当に僧侶なの?Honestly. <笑> No, I love that, that that's making your think better of Heiter. That's so stupid. Oh, oh, Mills. Cougars. Yeah, let's go, base. That's pretty base. I mean, I mean, you happen to be. You didn't even think about it. Wait, 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 is someone gonna tell, is somebody gonna tell him how old Freerin is? What the, and, and he's all of a sudden just gonna get, like, what the, where is this going? But he doesn't, she doesn't look like an older woman. その<笑><笑><笑> does it work though cuz Fruin cuz Fruin doesn't look like that Yeah when he said I think his idea of an older woman is different そういえば兄貴もそんなこと言ってたっけ Or Oh he's so sad yeah, yeah, no, he's the big titty, the big titty uh, did that, it would work. Sunny is crazy. Yo! What? No, 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 no. The other two were just blown away by it. That's funny. Well, yeah, because Himmel was madly in love with you. I love that the other two were like, oh my god, that was the hottest thing I've ever seen. Damn, so I guess it... I mean, to be fair, Freerin's amazing, but I love that Fern and Stark were, like, so into it. <laughs> A formidable foe indeed, the holy man. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my headphones there. I've had these weird moments where once in a blue moon my headphones are just like cut out a tiny bit. And they're not old or anything, so I have no idea what that's been about. And like the chart, they're like fully charged right now too. A mere 10 years, yep. Interesting. What's crazy is even, even if he's dead, it really might not be too late, especially given the specific objective of their quest. Your brother needs you? Yeah. Oh, no. The guilt. あなたほどの才があれば生徒の司祭としてもやっていけるでしょう。私が生徒で。はい、間違いなく。ハイターさま、その場合弟はどうなりますか？もちろん生徒へ。
そうですかハイター様せっかくのお話です、oh, he stayed there for his brother and then he returned the favor so his brother returned the favor that's like a weird form of that's that's honorable あの子から故郷まで奪うことはできませんそうです。Even though、ね、無駄足でしたね。Damn. では、無駄足ついでに、君の弟さんに、ね、and he knew. He saw them. 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 Yeah, I was about to say, slap the fuck out of your brother. Yeah, 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 That he actually did that, that's crazy. I can't see it. I am up to it. So, is Sign really growing the joining the group? I'll actually have to figure out how to fucking say his name. So, I can't see it. 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 Nice. あいつを追いかける。まだ十年しか経ってない。There it is. They really are similar. I love it. 俺の旅の目的はあいつを探すことだ。あいつを見つけて。俺はガキの頃の。So he might be a temp. He might leave our squad at some point. 途中までだ。途中まで一緒に行ってやる。That's fine. It's not about you specifically joining our group, it's more about you going on an adventure, whether with us or otherwise. He's a good looking guy, I'm not gonna lie, he's kinda hot. I'm vibing. Oh, yeah, that's a funny story. God, yeah, for the savage, you'll get used to it. Yeah, now there's two guys in the group. It's like, oh, twice the targets. I mean, to be fair, she goes after Freerin as well, but it's a little different with Freerin. Hmm. Hmm. That was good. That was that was nice. That was a good episode. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, so I'm gonna real. Quick, just take a tiny little note here. Tiny little note on sign. Okay, 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 okay. That was episode 13 of Free Run Beyond Journey's End, and we got ourselves a new partner. A new member of the squad. Really cool.、Um, sign, that's how it looked. That's kind of how I'm interpreting the name. I'm kind of, at this point,、um, I'm just kind of memeing with、um, Flim Flam Flom Flame's name. But,、um, you know, I'll, I'll put an effort in. At least try to put an effort in with everyone else. Um, but, um, he seems cool. I mean, he's filling the Heitzer role in the squad. Like I said, it's interesting because there's parallels, but, like, it's weird, right? Because you have, like, two free runs, and then you have one guy who kind of represents, to some extent, I mean, who, who primarily represents Aizen, but also, like, kind of represents Himmel as well in Stark. And then you have. You know, Fern, but then, like, but like, I like how it's different, right? Because personality wise, Sign might actually be the closest to Freerin.、Um, so, like, 
you, like I said, you get different vibes, different energies, but like at the same time, Cyan has a, a lot of similar traits to Hyder, right? So you have like different combinations and it's like there's shadows, there's silhouettes of the past going on here. There's there's shades of the past in these characters, but they're very distinct and unique from the original squad of Heiter, Eisen, Freerin, and Himmel. It's not the same it's not the same archetypes. There's different archetypes, even though they have elements of the past, elements of the original hero squad that took down the Demon King um in them. So it's like in some ways, there's, like, things that's like, oh, that's kind of like him or him or her or whatever, but it, it it's still unique. It's still distinct, which makes both sides interesting, both when we get flashbacks of Furin's old squad and when we stay in the present and get adventures with her current squad. It doesn't... There's not too much overlap, I guess, is the way to put it. But it's also not like they're all complete. Like, there's still, like, elements of them. And she can see elements of her old friends in her new friends. So it's, like, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I like the balance of the characters there. And while I had no problem with a three-person squad, four is kind of the magic number, I tend to think. I don't think we need to add anyone else. Now, I don't have problems if they add another person. But the party of four is kind of the magic number. And I do think it feels right. Like, having, you know, adding sign to to the squad with Fern, with Stark, with Freerin, it just feels right. It feels like it rounds it out. We got two people whose names... We got two mages, two female mages whose names start with F, and then we got two dudes whose names start with S. I don't know what the significance of that is, but it's kind of funny. Um... You know, flaming and shark. You know, FS. I, I I guess I guess that means I'm a a female mage and a dude. And I see. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to link. Like I said, I don't know what the most obvious connection between Stark and Sign is. But hey, you know what? We can work with that. FS, flame and shark. It's destined. It. It. it I had to watch this show. It's just meant to be. Um, but overall, solid stuff. I enjoyed it. I'm excited for more. I'm curious to see what else we get up to. Our first proper adventure with Sign in episode 14 um, should be interesting. Again, I think we're going to get a new OP, but I'm actually, I, I actually thinking about it. I'm actually a little less sure now that I think about it, just because the OP ends with this seemingly elf girl sitting on a chair or some sort of throne surrounded by books. I have no idea who that is. That's not come up at all. That definitely feels like a second core thing to happen, which does make me wonder if there's any chance this OP is the only OP. Um, or that character shows up this episode. That would be pretty funny, actually, if, if, if this character just happened to show up in, in, in episode 14. And it's like a big reveal, and that's why this is a two-episode set. That would be really funny. I guess that's possible. Um, but I don't know. Fun episode, though. I'm actually really excited. We got a new member to the group. We got a new corrupt priest. It's pretty hype. So anyways, let's just keep going. And let's see what episode 14 has in store for us. All right, let's check out episode 14 of Freerin. In three, two, one, and play. Okay, we're in the Rod region. It's probably not Rad. It's like it's probably Rod. Could be Rayod as well, but that doesn't sound as German. Wow. Sakaba it didn't say 29 years after, and we almost immediately went into flashbacks, which is interesting. It's very trippy how quickly they're jumping back and forth between the timelines. Hmm. Okay. Alright! Presumably the last time we get the first OP of Soso no Freerim. 
I don't think I talked about the Soso no Free Run thing before, actually. I think it's interesting that the English translation is Free Run Beyond Journey's End, because obviously Soso no Free Run, to the quote, was at the end of Episode 8, and was the name of Episode 8, uh, translates to Free Run the Slayer. And in a weird way, while I think Free Run the Slayer is a more badass title, I actually think Beyond Journey's End feels more... fitting? Like... Like I said, it's that weird thing where it's like, I feel like, it, in a lot of ways, like, if I just heard those two titles, it's like, yeah, I think I'd probably prefer Sosa no Freerun, but it's one of those weird things where it's like, while it's cool, it was a cool title for an episode, it was a cool moment in episode 8, I, I think that's a bit of a weird title for this show, to be perfectly honest. I just think it's interesting, though. Privilege of the Young, okay. I like that title. Wow. What the fuck happened? Her, I assume, means Fern, but could be either of them. <laughs> Possibly. Damn. Man, we're really focusing on the birthdays, which I guess is a cool way to emphasize the passage of time. Damn, she's so cute when she makes that angry face. Damn. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Again, he's a fucking idiot. That's a nice way to put it. That's great advice. Like, just don't fuck around. Like, just be honest and, and be, be forward. Especially with men. Because, um, I could speak for the male portion that, uh, most guys are oblivious idiots. Like, I remember one time not that long ago, the guy was hitting at me, uh, hitting on me on the, at the store, and I literally, it literally completely went over my head, and, like, the girl that I was with literally told me after the fact, and I was just like, what? <laughs> and it was just really funny, because it was like, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. It's like 90% of guys like are completely oblivious. Good job. Good job, Stark. Great start. Damn, forget this ship just happening. Jesus Christ, we're actually getting like a real progression in this episode. They're even playing the like romantic y kind of music, too. Double apology, that's great. Shoutouts to Fern as well. <laughs> yeah. She does kind of bully you a little bit. Oh, that was like a pretty strong smile. <laughs> it's funny because you have Himmel just watching over their conversation too. Which makes it even better. I assume that was Himmel. It looked like Himmel. Well, yes it is. Bro, the two older potatoes chipping them is hilarious. Hmm. <laughs> I think it was both ways. Yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, she's a special case. Perun, Yeah, I think that was Definitely her father. Oh my god, the way she slid down was hilarious. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. That looks good. What the fuck? That looks like a fucking slap. That looks like a fucking slap. What, because you smoke too? Because I don't think Hyder smoked. I don't think Hyder smoked. Privilege of the young, right? Because mm -hmm. to you, he was, you know, you were young compared to him. It's all, it's all perspective. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, people don't change as much. I mean, like, you can obviously grow and evolve, but I don't think, and like, obviously, experience has a lot to do with it, but age can not necessarily. Uh -huh. Literally, Fern literally means head pats, that's wild. God, I... She doesn't need to understand how you feel. Oh my god, head pat, isn't it? Yep! Dude, she looks so smug about it, too. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? 
あなたはやはり女神様に褒めてもらう。She's gonna have to wait quite a while for that. 楽しみにしておくよ。Old woman free room, petting everyone's head. It's so good! Bros in the mills. Free room technically is, kind of, but also isn't. That's hilarious. That's a really funny bit, though. I hope we run into like a hot, big titty older woman that he fawns over at some point in the show. That'd be hilarious. I feel like we have to, given the setup for the bit. No. Hey. I like it because they both, they both, oh, I like it because they both, they both have like bracelets of sorts. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. You literally don't know where anything is. What the fuck? I think someone just tried to kill us. No, not the ring. Oh. Is that the the ring? Yeah, the ring that Hemo gave you, by the way. Yeah, is that Nice. I love it. look at the horse, it's just like oh yeah. That was funny as hell. Yeah, the ring that Himmel gave you. I'm waiting for that to come up because sooner or later I'm wondering if you're gonna figure out. Yeah, like there's no. That has to mean what you think. Yeah. You guys know what I'm implying. Him all giving freer in a ring. I mean, come on. Maybe she'll figure it out eventually. Hopefully. Interesting.なるほど。Interesting.私は商人を連れて飛ぶから、ペルンはザインをお願い。わかりました。the bro's like, wait, what about me? You're a beast. 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 You're Bro, why, why is Aizen the ultimate Chad? And Hyder is always a Paul. Yeah, and every time Fern has to confirm that, yeah, Aizen was just a monster. どちらにせよ。早くした方がいいんじゃないか。That didn't really... I don't know how much that helped. Oh. Alright, alright. If you're in clutched up. Hey, you're alive. Yeah, why not? That was an awkward situation. Sorry. 
むしろ感謝しています。私一人では死んでいますから。からしばらくは馬車の修理だな。All right, what do we got? All right, we're gonna get to see him put the thing back together. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, we got a guy who's strong as shit. We got mages who can probably do some cool stuff to help if, if necessary. The ring. Oh my god, did she lose the ring? Does, and how much does she care about the ring? The fact that you took three hours shows exactly how to do it. I love the romance. Holy fuck. He was trying so hard. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dudes. Oh! Come on, give me a little blush. No? Okay. It's fine. Let's go! I'm going to get more than I thought. I'm going to get Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's yeah, I mean, again, he is an idiot. Oh, Bro, take a hint, please. 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 What are you doing, girl? Like, why are you... It's not even sitting. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, either get in, in, or get out. I look pretty good. Stew. I look like... I guess boar stew or whatever. What the fuck? That's kind of hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. That was me working to not burp. Gotta be classy for all of you. Oh? Alright, we're ready to continue on the road. Sounds good. She's looking for that ring. She really cares about it. It's different. I think... Yeah, and now she knows what that means. But I bet him a bit. Ah! I don't know about that. And, and even if he didn't, yeah, I'm 100% with her on this. Wow, that's... stupidly convenient. That is the single most convenient plot thing that's happened in the show up to this point. That's crazy. That was literally, like... I'm actually kind of shocked. That that was that that's surprisingly like just plot convenient for this series.
フリーレ君は今回の討伐依頼で頑張ってくれたからね。好きなものを選んでくれ。Okay, it wasn't choose whatever you like thing. 魔法店の方が嬉しいんだけど。Ah, okay. Well, interesting. Oh, he knew what it was. He knew what it meant. He was like, no, this is perfect. And now she's potentially putting that together. Whoa! Is that the accessory finding spell? That's a little dramatic. Bro, he's. This motherfucker's about to get down on me and everything, isn't he? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh my god! I think he knew full well he was never gonna have his wish, but that, this was a moment for him more than anything. Wow. That's crazy. Akiramenak Tayoka to this name. Free and Sama. I'd kill, I'd kill for her to put it on. It was kind of like a, like, there was a lot of, like, romantic undertones in that episode. I say undertones, they were almost overtones, like, they were pretty, there was not, there was nothing, like, subtle about it. Um, but, it was really cute, and I think it was a really, it was another really cool way. I feel like this show does a really good job with the balance of Freerin's kind of melancholy, lack of emotional kind of um, lack of traditional face value emotional kind of showing. I I'm trying to think of a better way to put that. Um, but we've seen time and time again that despite the fact that she struggles with expressing her emotions in the way that regular people do and obviously her interpretation of time and how that's warped her entire experience as a living being that doesn't change the fact that she does have these these feelings she does have these emotions and while they don't typically come out in the way that you'd expect a human to necessarily show these emotions, they do still very much exist. And over time, we get to see these moments where they might not be as strong as you'd expect given the context, but it's she has her own way of expressing her emotions. And I think it's something that it's one of the most rewarding parts about watching this show is those little. Moments of her kind of recon recognizing and often reconciling with her feelings about things that happened in the past and things that are happening in the present. It's it's kind of in a lot of ways the core of what makes this show so good. And halfway through, I can say confidently that I love this show. Is it going to be one of my favorite shows ever? Probably not. I it's a damn good show, though, and I definitely understand why so many people like it. I feel like this is a show that's a very, very hard to dislike. Um, it's a show that it would kind of like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I just, it's hard for me to imagine many people not getting it, right? Like, it's just so, 
it's so simple and yet like it's just a such a simple series with such a simple premise executed so well and there's so much emotional depth behind it right so it so it's this it's just it, it's very simple in nature and yet very complex in the way that it delivers emotional depth and i feel like that in and of itself is brilliant it's simplistic brilliance is what freerin is and that's that's something that i think can can get lost with a lot of people is that a show can be simple and have a lot of depth and and freerin is absolutely both of those and um it's just a great watch it's such a it's such a beautiful show to watch right it looks good it feels good there's wholesome vibes you get some action every once in a while some great animation it, it but it at, at its core it's more of a slice of life ish adventure journey it's like a melancholy take on slice of life in in the shell of an adventure story and it's built obviously around Freerin's understanding of you know relationships and emotion you know and all this cool stuff and it's just it's it like i said despite how simplistic this show is it really is quite unique because i don't really feel like i've seen anything quite like it at the same time which is again another reason why it's brilliant i really love this show and i will say halfway through i'm really glad that we're watching it i've had a blast uh, doing these reactions for you guys and i'm really excited for the second half um Obviously, this video was a little shorter. We don't have, um, you know, but we are halfway through the show, both in episode count and in reactions. So 14 out of 28, and as far as videos, 4 out of 8. So we will be uh, getting through the rest of the show in the next four videos. I'm really excited for that. I hope all of you guys are excited as well for the rest of the series. I'm really looking forward to watching more. And I'm really curious to see what else we get up to. I, I think uh, the show's been great. And like I said, I'm curious whether we get a new opening. Because, you know, I was kind of thinking like, yeah, I would assume we get a new opening. But I'm, I'm thinking about it more now. And, and the thing that has me unsure is we haven't seen the, uh, that elven looking character at the end of the op right before the really cool like reflection shot of the past and the present and because that character is not shown up yet i'm a little more unsure as to whether we're actually at the point where the opening is going to change i guess there's a possibility we only have one opening they could certainly do one opening and two endings um the ending is so good though i would almost go the other direction if anything but I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe this opening sticks around a little longer and then we get an end, a, a second opening that doesn't stick around as long as the first. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. I'm, I'm a little unsure about that, but I definitely think it's interesting that we're presumably at the end of the shelf life of the first OP, yet there's things in the OP that haven't happened or some degree of what the op is presenting hasn't happened so i don't know i don't know what to expect with that but that's like the least of our concerns because while i do love openings and endings it's not at the core of what we're doing here anyways though this was fun nice it was my very first reaction back um after a little while away so it was nice to start with free run i feel like i felt like this was a good show to start with and it was only a two episode reaction so i feel like the combination of doing a shorter video and the series that I was doing made this the perfect kind of um, gateway show back for me. So um, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed my reaction. And uh, yeah, like I said, at this point, I'll have been back for like a week. So that's kind of the ironic thing about this being the first thing I record uh, in a while. But regardless, I hope you guys have been enjoying everything. This Because this will be the last thing. Like I, at this point, we'll have posted... Every, uh, every other rotational series and Gintama and Persona before you guys will have seen this. So this will quite literally kind of be the last thing 
that we get back to uh, since it was the most recent rotational thing before I uh, died. So uh, anyways, funny how that works. But now I guess we're fully back because everything has had a round um, over the last week uh, video-wise for you guys. So anyways, um, don't worry. The next video of Freerun will be much quicker than, than, than the gap between 9 to 12 and this one was. So we'll be good there. But anyways, want to support the channel, Patreon's down below in the description. You have a Discord server, that's cool. Um, but anyways, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. Flame and Shark, signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.